Hi everybody, welcome to Valley Views, what you see and what you hear in the Coachella Valley. I'm so happy to tell you that it's February. For all Aries and anyone who loves red, we have permission to wear red all month, every day if you'd like. So that's the beauty of February and of course it is Valentine's Day, but we know that you treat your sweetheart like it's Valentine's Day every day. Right? Right. Right, Dale? Yeah. <laughs> right, Richie? Yeah. So, oh, I want to tell you before anything else, I wanted to remind you about Go Red. It's coming up very, very quickly on the 13th. Oops. Started to say if it's today, it's too late. <laughs> it's 13th of February, and it's absolutely uh, a must go to. It's all about uh, women and their heart. Why go red? You'll know that day. And I want to tell you, this is my Valentine gift to you. This is written by Kathy Lee Gifford. This was one of the best gifts I got for the holidays. It's called Good Gifts, One Year in the Heart of a Home. And there's a, a story I'll tell you very quickly. When they went to this beautiful, beautiful home that they have in Connecticut, they wanted it desperately. This was 20 years ago. And there was no way they felt they could afford it. I mean, it was very pricey. And so they, they ta talked about it, they prayed about it, and they put in an offer for what they could afford. And when the man who owned the house got that offer and found out who had put it in there, he said, I want Frank Gifford to have my home. Because long ago, he was at a, a tennis tournament and the country club turned him away and said, we don't have your name on the list. And a man walked up and said, hi, I'm Frank Gifford. I'd like for you to play with me today. And he never, ever forgot that. And that is how Kathy Lee and Frank feel. They got their house, which they love. The book is phenomenal. It's, it's just amazing. My Valentine gift to you. And we went on a cruise. What a cruise. Um, this, this is what we looked like when we started the cruise. This is what we looked like at the end of the cruise. And our friends Lynn and Nelson and Louise and Wendell, you guys made that trip. So fantastic. And if I never have a glass of champagne again, it'll be too soon. Okay, on our show today, talking about P-Swift, we love, love, Patty Graveau. And she has other things to talk about as well. Andrew Niderman will be here. And he is probably, I saw his books all over the cruise ship. Uh, Deanne Lubell Ames will be here to talk about Angel View and Coachella Valley Symphony. We have a great show. We hope you can sit back, relax, and enjoy Valley Views. We'll be right back. His name is Paul Rogers. His songs are rock anthems. Now on a rare solo appearance, Saturday, February 14th, the Spotlight 29 Casino Showroom, the voice that rocks the planet, Paul Rogers. Buy tickets now at the Casino Box Office or Spotlight29.com. Live the rock and roll fantasy with Paul Rogers. My first guest is Patty Grabeau, and I was telling her that I forgot to mention that the sale of this book, Every Penny Goes to the Salvation Army which is even more reason to get it for a Valentine's gift for someone you love. And I love you. I love you, too. I'm you're so my Valentine's you're gift. I love being here with and you. And your Valentine, of course, is Dale. Grabeau. Absolutely. Now, what does Dale call us? He calls us two all-beef patties. <laughs> two all-beef patties. He loves it. He, he loves to say two all-beef patties, pickle sauce. I, I don't even remember all the other stuff, but he just loves being with us. And Gina's good. Gina's great. Family's Thank great. You. Family's number one in great Okay, band. and you are busy, busy, busy. Yes, yes, yes. Let's start first with the red carpet right? gala. We are so lucky. The shops on El Paseo contacted us. They want Peace Swift to be the beneficiary of an incredible evening, Oscar evening. It's going to be wonderful. You're going to be doing the red carpet, which is amazing. So anyone who comes to the event will be walking the red carpet, which is fabulous. How fantastic for yeah. him to do that. So it's going to be really, really neat. And yeah. it'll be exclusive and fun. And the shops on El Paseo, what a gorgeous, gorgeous environment. It is. And we're going to have some raffle prizes from the shops on El Paseo. So it's just going to be a lovely, lovely evening. We're looking forward to it. it's February. February 22nd, Oscar, mm -hmm. 4 o'clock red carpet and then we'll have ballots and people will get to participate and dine and have fun and see some celebrities. And that is time. outstanding. Yeah, very, very And excited. hats off to every shop. 
on El Paseo. And Fred Fern for supporting the effort with Fred the shop. Fred Fern, El Paseo. I think he's a member here at Ironwood. He is. Yeah, yeah, yes. love he him is. too. Alrighty, and so for Peace Whip, this is a, a fantastic thing, and what a what an amazing. I mean, you were so fantastic when you were number one there, and now you have somebody really terrific. Christiane Joubert has come along too. Right, you know, Patty, as, as you know, it's uh, it, it's wonderful to be uh, the president. It's wonderful to be on a board, but when you pass the baton, you want to pass it on to someone who's yeah. going to do great things and yes. to keep everything going. And Christiane is the perfect person. She Christiane is. has not only been in the industry and a singer and a performer, but she's also been in the business world. She's currently uh, one, one of the agents working with um, with the Jones Agency, our friends, the Jones oh, Agency yay. in Palm Springs. Well, they're old yeah. relatives. You know, I was a Jones girl. That's, that's right. Yeah, I used to call Mil right. my Uncle Milty. What a sweetheart. He God didn't really him. smile when I said that, but oh well. <laughs> I think Frank got it. <laughs> but anyway, Christiane's working there and doing a great job. But she's a businesswoman. Yes. So although being a producer, producer says we are, we have a lot of, we have to, we are great organizers and we're great in create, creativity. There are times I know I can get a little out there and people have to kind of rein me in. <laughs> Christiane is a, me too. I know, I know. <laughs> Christiane's a bottom line girl. So she's terrific and uh, she's doing a great job. I'm so happy. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, if we can just digress momentarily, sure, sure. please, please tell me about your movie. I'm so excited. Um, I, having done a lot of work in television, I never really dreamed I'd be getting involved in films. But a friend of ours, Jack Tauber and his family, we've known for 30 years. Um, he brought the story, he actually just sent an article about his parents. That we've known his family for a long time, gone to parties and gotten to know them. Abe is 99 and Regina is 98. Oh now, my here's goodness. the story. Whoa. This is amazing. I, when I read the article, I sent it to Kim Waltrip. She then sent it to Jim Casey. They said, we have to do this movie. So we're in development and got, we get our first script the end of this week, God willing, oh. it, sh it should go. Patty, it's 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 so amazing. Picture um, that's like a dream yeah, come it, true. It, it really is because I'm very passionate about uh, Holocaust, about Judaism, Christianity. We are. Yes. We're passionate about peace in the world. Yes. Okay. Picture this. Almost a hundred years ago, ninety-seven years ago, in Hodel, outside of Lublin, in Poland, there is almost an somewhat of an aristocratic family, Regina Schneiderman, and behind her lived Abraham Tauber. Tauber. He asked her to marry him when he was six, she was five. Oh, They're alive today, God bless Regina, she just celebrated her 99, 98th birthday and he's oh. 90, and he's, uh, he's, he's 90, she's 98 and he's 99. But Gotta the, love that. The story is they've survived, they survived death so many times, lived through the Holocaust. If you kind of lace a little bit of Dr. Zhivago with some of um, um, Inglorious Bastards, all that action uh -huh. and love and passion, that's what this is going to be, and our writer is amazing, Stephen Glantz. So we're very, we're very optimistic oh, about I it. Oh, I think that's just it amazing. It should only do well. I hope. Amazing. Yeah, and it will. Thank you. The three thank of you, you thank it you, definitely yeah. will. Yeah, they're they're quite a powerful, quite powerful producer. So we'll. Um, yeah. It, it, it should go well. You'll all be on the red carpet everywhere one day. Well, <laughs> from your from your mouth to God's ears, just just to get a good, a, a good, a wonderful, positive story out there amen is terrific amen well all the best congratulations thank you patty and with this i mean this is phenomenal and people can call peace swift's office or go to office at peacewift.org yeah uh to make the reservation and it's a small group of people so that's perfect sell out at 125 so yeah. it's an intimate wonderful call. exclusive group call soon and remember it's uh february 22nd four o'clock red carpet right there on the beautiful El Paseo. Right. Thank you, sweetheart. Patty, thank you so much for always for being a friend. Love you, love and you. And a love. Okay. Happy New Year. Thanks. Happy New Year to you. Be right back.
Hey, it's Greg from Arbuckle Road, and I'd like to invite you guys all out to hear our own brand of rock and country music. And well, people really seem to like what we're doing. And uh, from what I hear, we ain't done yet. Andrew Niderman, just the name, is amazing. But underneath his name, it says, New York Times best-selling author. Now that, to me, uh, want to be, one day, would hope to be author. The man is amazing, and I'm so happy you're here today. It's great to be here, yeah. Well, I, I think that, first and foremost, the uh, Christopher's Diary, Echoes of Don, Don Ganger, yeah. Yeah, is, is so fantastic, but let's move on to this. Okay, we've got to go over reverse. Chris, okay. Christopher's Diary, Secrets of Foxworth, is out now. Yes. And in 15, well, on January 27th, we're going to have the second part of it called Echoes, Echoes of, Don, of, of Dollar Ganger. Whoa. So this I is the first time totally we've done that. Up. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, basically, uh, f this is a takeoff on Flowers in the Attic, which was a world phenomenal bestseller. And recently, F Lifetime did a remake of that movie. And it broke their record for viewership, 6.1 million. And before that, I had thought of the idea of writing the story from the point of view of the older brother who is in the attic with his sister and his uh, two little twin brother and sisters. And uh, so that became Christopher's Diary. And in it, I created new characters so that the fans would pick up on a new storyline. And basically what I did was establish that uh, Flowers in the Attic really happened, and it's a legend in Charlottesville, Virginia, mm -hmm. what happened in this place. And it's 50 years later, and what happens is uh, a, the, a daughter of a man who's doing construction okay. goes to the old burned down Foxworth Manor, and while he's checking the, uh, the foundation, they discover this metal box, and in the metal box is Christopher's diary. Wow. And that's the storyline that nobody knows. So this is what we did, and um, now we're into the second half, which is uh, Echoes of Dallenganger. And after that, there's a huge secret that comes out, and that secret uh, stimulated a third novel, which will be out in May, called Secret Brother. And then, uh, so basically, this is the first year in a long time that we're going to have three V.C. Andrews titles in one year. Mm -hmm. So it's January and May, and then in November, October, November, we'll have Bittersweet Dreams. Good. In between that, I have three uh, Niderman novels coming out. One is uh, coming out March 10th, that's uh, The Terrorist Holiday, which is a story about a terror attack on a big Catskill resort um, that's discovered by a Brooklyn detective. And so it's a big okay. thriller. And that's coming out March 10th with Open Road Media. And then in June, we're going to have the prequel to The Devil's Advocate, which is now in development by NBC as a TV series. Whoa. But the prequel's coming out in June that's called Judgment Day. And following that, um, I haven't just sold a new novel, <laughs> and the publisher wants to do it in uh, probably November, called Lost in His Eyes, which is basically a Hitchcockian romantic story. Oh, I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make sure you get it. Wow. So they got all that going on. Then we have Warner Brothers who decided to develop a TV series of Ruby, which is a V.C. Andrews series. So we're getting into development with that right now as well. And Lifetime is airing the next two Dollenganger movies in the spring, and that'll be uh, If There Be Thorns and, and Seeds of Yesterday. And they're going to do a fifth. So all this is going to happen this year. I'm tired. I know. <laughs> Too but, tired. No, I don't get tired. I get excited. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> so of course. we have all that going on. And then, of course, we have the overseas stuff that's going on. Um, I've been developing The Devil's Advocate as a stage musical for a few years. And uh, this year, we have a new composer because uh, the producers who saw it, the workshop, wanted to have more sophisticated music. Mm -hmm. So we have Richard John, who is the music director of Dirty Rotten Scoundrels on the West End right now. And we're going to have that ready for workshop very soon. We have New York producers interested. And the most interesting thing is we have the German producers interested. And in Germany, musicals are raging because they have subsidized theaters. So it's easier to get a musical started there. And once it gets launched in Germany, all over Europe, people come see it, and then it moves on. For example, Rocky came to Broadway straight out of Germany. So I we're pretty that. excited about uh, the fact that the Germans are uh, yeah. fascinated with this. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, we also did the stage play of The Devil's Advocate, no music, 
but they wanted it in the Netherlands, so we're starting that. We're going to have it launched in Amsterdam in the fall and in parts of Belgium where they speak Dutch. And once that gets launched as a stage play, we can move that over the world as well. When, 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 when do you have time for all this? You're, you're, I mean, you have so many other things going. You have this incredible family, yeah, beautiful I wife. I mean, everything in the world, you're, you're busy. You're, I, I see you at things. When do you have time to make all of this happen? When do you write? Well, I get, so I get up, I have my breakfast, and I, you know, we have our breakfast, and then I go into the office and work till, until I realize my stomach tells me it's noon <laughs> because I don't realize what time it is. And then I pick up the phone and I call Diane and I say, what's for lunch? <laughs> so then I come out, have my lunch, watch a little TV while I'm eating, and then come back in and work. And then I break out um, probably late in the afternoon and do an exercise program. I have a gym in the house. And very rarely now do I go back and work at night, but I used to. But uh, I can't tiptoe away from Diane anymore. So <laughs> basically, that's it. But that's enough. I mean, I, I've been able to do all these things uh, with that time span. Because I, I, I just... Uh, I have that drive, you know, I think yes, you, you need. Yes, you do. I always tell people when I speak that writing or any talent is 60% talent and 40% perseverance. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to be rejected. You're going to have to face it all the time. Yes. And if you can't get over it, then you're probably not meant to be it. So you need that 40%, that drive. Just keep coming at them, you know. Well, you know, I think of my daddy who said, when you wake up, want to go to work. And you do. Yeah. I love what I do, and that makes a big difference. It makes a huge difference. You're yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank amazing. you so much. Thank you. Come anytime. Come sit well, right here. Well, sounds like we might. <laughs> <laughs> no, soon. I think so. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And love to your family. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back. Desert Lexus wants to make 2015 the year you drive a new Lexus. That includes the exciting new 2015 NX Crossover SUV or the performance-minded 2015 RC and RCF Coupe. Add our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles, high level of customer service, and convenient Saturday service hours, and 2015 looks like the perfect year to drive a Lexus. Making the most of every moment. Desert Lexus in the Cathedral City Auto Center or online at desertlexus.com. Everybody comes here with a bright smile and positive attitude. You know, you can show up here and be in the worst of mood and leave with the most grateful heart. If you're thinking about volunteering, I would definitely suggest coming down to Pegasus. Um, it's definitely an experience that uh, is, will last a lifetime. All we ask for is a couple hours of your time, whatever you can give. We just need your help. I know someone in the Coachella Valley who is busier than most. <laughs> Her name is Deanne Lubell Ames. I don't even know how you found time to be here, but I'm so happy you came. Thank you. Because you are, you. I mean, it's not just Angel View and, and a big event coming up, but Coachella Valley well, Symphony as well. That's right. And I'm celebrating 20 years as a PR consultant in the 20? Valley. 20? 20. See, you and Valley Views. <laughs> Valley Views is 21 and you're 20. I know. I'm just and we've a been older. A, a majority together. <laughs> That's um, right. Doing shows together. Oh, all God, yeah. 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 And, and um, this was fantastic. My first granddaughter, Jaden, uh, had her first date with, with Deanne's grandson, Jake. And we went to, where'd we go for lunch? Oh, geez, it's been a um, while. A fabulous restaurant. And we have the greatest yeah, picture. They're really cute. Okay, so let's start with Angel View. Yes. Angel View is going to hold its 61st annual luncheon, February 16th at Agua Caliente, and we're honoring the Jewish Federation of the Desert. Oh, fantastic. And they do deserve it. Yes, they do. Because not only do they help Angel View and, and other organizations and the people in the community, Yes. It, it, they they go way beyond the call of duty mm -hmm. to help anyone that yes. they feel needs a service. Mm -hmm. Good really one to cool. honor. Yeah. yeah, good one to honor. And uh, the particulars, did we say? 
Yes, it's uh, again. Uh, uh, yeah, you said the uh, Monday President's Day. We're holding it on President's Day. That's cool. We get a good turnout that yeah. way. So uh, it's yeah. at the Agua Caliente. Is there and, a number or? Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's eighty-five dollars for an individual, and uh, people can RSVP to Cynthia Buckner at seven six zero four zero six one zero one six or go to angelview.org. Perfect. And you know, um, because it's President's Day, I would get my reservation in if I were you. Please. Uh -huh. Please, <laughs> please. Yeah, that'll be great. Yes. Okay, and Coachella Valley Symphony. Oh, my, my. Yes, they have two concerts left. One is in March. The other one is in April. The one in March is March 1st. And the theme is a movie theme. It's in the afternoon, and it starts at 2 o'clock. And it just so happens that one of their guest conductors is Lee Ames. Oh, my God! <laughs> and he's going to perform classical gas. He's going to conduct classical gas. And he's Seriously? so excited, yes. I can only imagine. Yeah. Right there is a good reason for you to go. <laughs> That's amazing. Support the man. Yes. <laughs> Support Coachella but, Valley but, Symphony. Yeah, and that's such a that's such a neat, neat thing. And for him to do that after, you know, his history, all he's done in in acting yeah, and commercials like, and his dad being an actor in the background. So yeah, that was on the top of his bucket list. Absolutely. Yeah. So well. prices <laughs> for these concerts are only twenty five to forty five dollars. Really? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a fantastic price. It's, it is, and they're great. Coachella Valley Symphony is made up of local musicians, and mm -hmm. they're professional, they're great, and anyone who went to the Christmas concert got to see for themselves the magnitude of the professionalism yeah. and the skill involved. You know, I wasn't singing. here, but I have heard so much about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. So anyway, to uh, get a hold of anyone to get information, you can call 760-202-6482. Or you can go to cvsymphony.org. Yeah, that's easy, yeah. cvsymphony.org. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and so what else is going on? Well, I, like I said, I was celebrating 20 years of doing PR. How do you feel about that? You know, you know how everybody's got like a... a Oh, some people get a little mm, about turning 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or whatever. And other people have these, these milestones. Don't you think it's pretty fantastic? It is a milestone. And when you look back over the years, what you've done and you've, your contribution exactly. to help out the nonprofits in, these valley, in the valley. Oh, yeah. Well, it makes me very proud but, I mean, I've and watched, honored that I've been able to be a part of it. Yeah, no, I know everything you've done, and, uh, and it's, it's pretty remarkable. I think that, um, I mean, as we look back and, we, and we, when, when I was thinking about last year, I was thinking, mm, 20 years, you know, and the grandbabies and now East Coast, West Coast, but I thought, it's going to be 21. So ideally, I was going to have Cristal sitting here at every show and really make it a celebration because it's turning 21. Right. And now I say, well, I think 21's good, but 22, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And so that's what happens because you become so, so much a part of, of the events and the situations and the people that you get oh, involved sure, with. Oh, sure, sure. And, and you've seen the changes over the oh, years. Yeah. So many changes. Some good, some not so not good. So good some, not so good. <laughs> not that I said that, but. <laughs> <laughs> we'll but, have to have another segment. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gone fast, I yes. have to say. It really did. But I've, I've loved every minute. I know. I and know. of course, and there's my book, The Last Moon. It's, it's done so well. Oh, and so, so well. Four and national so awards, oh two God. international awards. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, you're amazing. So are you. So we'll see you at all the events and things. And yes. stay well and happy and, and love to Jake. Thanks. Same to Jaden. And we will go now to Father Howard Lincoln. Father Lincoln. I almost never use bad language. 
almost never. The glaring exception is when I'm in a car by myself and some driver in front of me does some really stupid thing or there's a car in front of me driving 20 miles per hour in a 55 mile an hour zone and I try to be patient because I know that, God bless them, there are many older people in our valley who aren't comfortable driving at certain speeds. But usually what really upsets me is the guy who's going really fast and he's zipping in and out of lanes, that's the ones I get mad off. I, I really get ticked off sometimes and I'll even call him a scumbag or sometimes even far worse. And then I feel bad, bad for my sudden anger, bad for my language and bad because, well, that just isn't me. That isn't my identity. That isn't who I am. My identity is the same as your identity. We are children of God. And how we act, all of our actions, should flow from that identity. The principle that actions from, should flow from who we are from our identity is true in every phase of life. For example, a policeman should maintain law and order, not disrupt it. A doctor should foster human life, not destroy it. And a judge should seek and promote justice, not violate it. And a person of faith, a child of God, should radiate the goodness of Christ, not use bad language because he doesn't like someone's driving. We know we are not perfect, but our faith should be the guiding light to motivate us to live out our identity as children of God. Thank you, Father Lincoln. Father Howard Lincoln was born and raised in the Pacific Northwest in Tacoma, Washington, and he has served as the pastor of Sacred Heart Church in Palm Desert since 2001. He is absolutely a hero to all of us. And um, after, after what he says at the end of our show, I'm going to tell you a few more things during February because it's Sweethearts Month and he's our sweetheart. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery. Today's a gift and that's why we call it the present. Live in the now moment. Much love to all of you and happy, happy continued new year. See you soon.